The intention of this video today is to show you how you can use Managed Instance Link to migrate to our newly announced next gen general purpose SQL managed instance. I've enabled that and I've scaled my IOPS all the way up to 6400, which is the max for my four core server here. I wanted to show the difference between what general purpose could provide and what the next gen general purpose could provide when auto seeding our managed instance link database. All right. We're going to go over to SSMS. First thing we need to do is test connectivity. We're going to go up to Stack Overflow Large. We're going to right mouse click. We're going to go down here to Azure SQL Managed Instance Link, and we're going to test connection. We're going to go past the splash screen. We're going to check our SQL Server requirements. We're going to log into our managed instance. We're going to type in a mirroring endpoint details there. Once that's complete, we're going to go ahead and click Next. On the summary screen, we're going to look at our summary. Once that's complete, we're going to hit finish. Once we hit finish, we're going to make sure that all of our statuses are green. And look at that. We have connectivity test results summary all showing green check marks. So we can go ahead and hit close on that. Now we want to deploy our managed instance link. Go over to Stack Overflow Large, right mouse click. Go to Azure SQL Managed Instance Link and select New. Skip past the splash screen here specify our link options type in our name we're unchecking the disaster recovery intent since we are just using this for migration we're going to make sure our readiness is all green then we're going to select our stack overflow large for our database for our replica we're going to add our data primary mi once we go ahead and do that we're going to select next it's going to do some validation make sure it's all green go past our summary screen and click finish once that's done, we have deployed our managed instance link. With managed instance link deployed, we need to check on our auto seeding status. I've created this extended event, which the documentation will be included in the description of the video to show the status of our auto seeding. It's in progress here. We can also connect to our managed instance query from DM exec request filtering by VDI there, and it will show us the percent complete on the managed instance. When it's completed, it's going to give us a status of completed in our extended event. And this is where it gets really exciting, y'all. We can query sys.dmhadr automatic seeding on our SQL Server instance. Line six was my automatic seeding to my general purpose managed instance. Line seven is my auto seeding to my next gen general purpose. You can see we significantly reduced our auto seeding time by just enabling next gen and increasing our IOPS slightly. All right, let's do a failover because we're doing this for migration. We're going to go once again to our managed instance link, select failover. We're going to choose our failover type. We're going to select next. We're going to do all our appropriate sign-ins. We're going to do a link removal. We want to clean things up. We're doing this for migration. We're going to click understand here that the recommended actions on the primary replica have been done. And we want to delete the availability group on our SQL Server instance. Once again, cleaning things up. We're going to go through the summary, click Finish. And there we go. Our failover just like that is complete. If we hit refresh on our next gen general purple SQL managed instance and on our SQL Server, we can see that all of our managed instance link objects have been cleaned up. And if we switch back over to our data primary MI, there we have it. Our Stack Overflow large database has been migrated to our next gen general purpose managed instance now available in public preview. So you can check out this exciting new feature.